Greetings and one and all, greetings in the name of the most I again. Well, hear me now. There's a saying that says education is the key. I've been hearing that saying from a long time. But my thoughts on that is that ambition is the key. Ambition is the key. Reason for saying this is because there are a lot of people I know that has a lot of education but they don't necessarily have ambition and there are a lot of people that have ambition and they don't necessarily have education so some of my reasons for saying this is with all that's happening in the world nowadays with youths especially in the crime and violence and what's taking place it's all down to lack of ambition that's my opinion I'm not saying everybody should say that I'm saying it but it's down to ambition because when we speak of inner city ghettos and all these kind of places where ghettos are looked upon as being poorer areas and that's where a lot of crime is derived from or spring from because of poverty that's not necessarily true because out of ghettos you still have lawyers doctors teachers nurses people in all various different sectors that comes from within the ghetto communities and those people have been surrounded by the violence and all that's taking place but it's because of the ambition of those people those people elevate themselves and those people don't put it down to say well Government now do nothing for we. So I'm going to take up a gun, I'm going to take up a knife, I'm going to turn a rubber, I'm going to turn a thief, I'm going to turn a criminal, I'm going to turn whatever bad they feel like turning. Because of the ambition of those people. Those people decide to elevate themselves out of the ghetto and out of poverty and out of a criminal lifestyle. So, I'm just saying this to say that unless we eradicate the thought of being poor and blaming governments for what's happening until we get rid of that mindset things will never change and in order for us to go forward we have to move forward that is my thing in order for us to move forward we have to go forward and it all stems down to ambition there's a saying that says if you don't know where you come from you don't know where you're going in a sense it is true because that's what's lacking a lot of youth today a lot of youth nowadays they don't know where they're coming from because they weren't shown they weren't shown where they're coming from because they come and they see their mother and their fathers live in a certain way and they decided that instead of Checking and finding out the purpose of life. They decide to go forward. In the direction that they choose. And going forward in the direction that you choose. Without knowing where you're coming from. You will be going nowhere. And a lot of these youths nowadays are blinded. They haven't got a sight. And they haven't got a vision. 
of what life is all about. And a lot of them, because of not knowing where they're coming from, they tend to carve this part for themselves. And in carving this part, they look only to one thing, and they look to crime, because that's their vision. They're making this part for themselves, and that's their solution to the problem. But unless, as I said, if you know where you're coming from, then you will know where you're going. And ambition is the key. I'm just saying, I'll give you an example. As a youth, when I was growing up, I went to one of the top five high schools in Jamaica, Teachfield. Most of you might be aware of it, some of you might not. And when I was going to Teachfield High School, I was a very lovable boy and a sweet boy and thing. No, if you love me and everything. So, I got involved with girls and there's one specific girl I got involved with and we had a relationship. And not knowing about safe sex at the time, I wasn't even bothered. We make we ego overcome we and then we were experimenting. And in terms of experimenting, um this girl got pregnant. And um while I was about to graduate as well and take my subject six season thing at the time, she got pregnant. And then I never feel good about the situation at the time. So instead of taking subjects and graduating from school, I just automatically left school because I'm becoming a father. And as becoming a father, there are things you have to do in terms of preparation and looking about a child that is to come into the world. So I left school without any qualifications and even though I left school without any qualification that didn't stop me from going forward in life and it was all down to the ambition that was in me why I continue on the journey so what I did was the first thing I said well stop going to school what am I going to do I have to think of ways and means of living and supporting a child and as a youth them time I tried a lot of things in terms of getting work at the age 17 16 17 getting a job which was very hard but I decided that I had to go forward so I turned to farming I turned to farming and one of the quickest things I did in farming, because I said I have to start making money and start making money soon, what must I do? And at the time, the quickest thing I could think of in terms of making money was peppers, scotch bunny pepper. I, I had access to a whole heap of land. So I started by planting about 100 pepper trees. Them time, people were planting like acres, but... Small businessman, I try to get in on the thing. I planted a hundred. And by doing so within three months time, within three months time, pepper start beer up and me start sell pepper and start make some money and it start sweet me. And I said, no, me have to increase. But this thing cause this little bit of thing here, yeah, I give me so much money on a regular basis, like every two weeks. And I decided to go forward and build up a big Farm my pepper, them time, and start making money, which I was able to get money. And at the time, my girlfriend was, she had baby and things, and yeah, I could have support myself in a way and her by giving her extra regular money to, towards the child and herself. And then it, things just manifested at the time, there was like banana that was in full swing. And I had access to land, as I said. And gradually moving from pepper to bigger farming. 
we are went on to do as much as planting bananas now where I find myself to be a businessman at to a point where I had three people that was working for me at the time or working with me I should say at the time which I was able to pay them a salary based on the work that was done and I came from nothing started from nothing how I reached there it was the mercy of God and the ambition in me that drive me forward and as Father God said him help those who try to help themselves and it just moved on from the earth onward until I did my farming for multiple years I remember the first pig that I bought there were some people selling some pigs and I said, you know, I think I'm going to raise some pig, you know. And the first pig I bought, when I went to buy the pig, the man said to me, if I want a boar, meaning a male pig. And I said, no, I don't want a boar, because a male can't breed. I look something to multiply. And the first pig I bought was a female, because my intention was if I get a female, and when it comes to certain stages, then we can breed it up. And that one pig led me to... A time when I was looking to looking at about 60 odd pigs in my pig pen from that one pig and it was the ambition that was in me that encouraged me to grow further so I'm saying this and I could go on and on and on but I'm saying this and at the same time I was from a ghetto community ghetto area as well where there were people doing different things to survive but I never choose that part neither I choose my own part I carve out my own part for myself because every man have a mind at the moment as far as I see so a lot of youths nowadays that I see not only in Jamaica but all over the world are involved in all kind of things it's only because they don't have a mind of their own and their ambition is not one for the future, but it's just for the present. So, until the day when we eradicate certain things out of our mind, we will always be the same. No matter which government is in power, no matter what party is in power. Because without ambition, you know, go forward. And ambition is something where you can't get it to buy at the shop, not the supermarket. You don't have to go to school to learn ambition. Ambition is an inborn thing within you. Everybody born with ambition. But it depends if a person wants to utilize it and use it to the best of their ability. You have to learn to overcome temptation. You have to learn to overcome a lot of things in life in order to move forward. So, when I see a lot of people saying that there's no work, the government not providing work and this and all sorts of things, I agree that the unemployment situation is of uttermost important in every country to everybody but we're not gonna use that as an excuse to say that's the reason why i'm gonna pick up a gun and go and kill somebody or go and rob somebody because you only have yourself to blame because the government is not in control of your mind you are in control of your own mind the prime minister isn't in control of your mind you are in control of your mind and believe me ambition make it a man also a woman but until the day when we eradicate and eliminate negative thoughts from out of our system we will never ever go forward 
And as I say, if you don't remember where you're coming from, you don't know where you're going. And remember, ambition is the key. And also, remember this as well. Winners never quit. And quitters never win. That is just my thought I'm sharing this morning. Big up all of my subscribers, them. As usual, I'm always thankful. And I never forget to say thanks to you guys. Because you are the one that encourage me to do videos like these. On a positive level. And as I said, I want to keep my channel in a certain way. Where... I don't have much to do with negative people. Neg negative people love negative things. So therefore, I don't indulge myself in certain kind of videos that has to do with any controversy, with singers and DJs and all kind of things. There's so much things to talk about where I don't have to go down that road. Yeah? So, I know that there are some people who will not subscribe to my channel because my channel isn't controversial. It hasn't got nothing to do with controversy and couscous. So, my channel is not entertaining to them. That's fine. But I know that there are positive, constructive people out there who would like, who, who, who like the direction that my channel is going so as i say big up on yourself and a one love enough love and jobless don't stress over peace respect guidance